now let's continue other packages uh, second package is uh, configuration so generally this configuration package contains some properties files so first one is general dot properties right so this general dot properties file contains uh, capabilities information so desired capabilities information that is emulator name device name package name and activity name udid so these are the different uh, capabilities information which you can use to launch the application so you can configure all those capabilities information instead of hard coding those capabilities information in uh, class itself okay so instead of hard coding this capabilities information here you can configure all those capabilities values in general dot properties file similarly you can use message dot properties so currently I don't have any information in this you can use uh, message start properties file to place the expected messages expected validation messages or any messages that you want to compare with actual values so currently I have placed all the expected validation messages in excel file so and retrieving uh, those messages from excel file and validating them okay let's see the examples okay so this is about configuration package uh, we can see page actions and suit packages later so utility package so utility package contains one class that is xls reader so this is the utility class that can be used to read the test data from excel file or write the test results to the excel file so this class contains many methods so that can be used with excel files so to get the data from excel file or to write the test results or anything into the excel file you can use these methods okay so this is the utility class so you can use these methods to get the test data from excel files so other packages test data so in test data package so we usually place all the test data excel files so generally we maintain one excel file for each module so here i have uh, placed two excel files first one is alert dialogs xlsx and tabs file so there are two test data excel files okay so these two files contain some validation messages or some messages to be validated okay so these are the two different modules so I have placed two different excel files so alert dialogs in our mobile app alert dialogs is one module and tabs is another page right so you can use one excel file for each module okay okay uh, as i said previously uh, we will maintain two classes for each module one is page actions class and another one is test class so in page actions class so we maintain all the objects of the page in page actions class so we have to define all the objects of that page okay and also you need to load the test data excel file in constructor so this is the constructor constructor name should be same as class name right so when you create object for this class this xlsx file will be loaded okay so by using this reference object you can retrieve the data from excel file similarly so get test data method so using this get test data method you can get the data from this xls file whatever the object you pass it for from this method method so you will get the data from that respective excel file okay so get expected data method so it returns the expected data value from excel file so there is a expected data column in excel file so you will get the data from that column using this get expected data method okay so generally uh, we maintain 
all the locators in page actions class and also the methods which we can perform in that module so implement all those methods in this class as well and then simply call these methods in actual test execution class that is alert dialogs test so this is the test execution class test class so this class contains all the test scripts for test cases right so here this is one test case first test case is verify the alert message displayed when clicking on ok cancel dialog with a message button so this test case validates the alert message upon clicking first message okay before test case uh, we have uh, defined one method right before class method so before executing the test cases so we need to create object for alert dialogs actions and then these are the three different variables uh, class name so this class name variable can be used to assign the categories in previous lectures uh, in extent report uh, we have seen some assign category section right so for that method we need to pass class name so that uh, categories will be created based on class name and then sheet test case so test case sheet name and test data sheet names okay now you can pass the test case sheet and test data sheet to get the data from excel files okay this is the first test case uh, you need to make sure that test case should be in try and catch blocks so you have to write the test case in try try catch blocks using exception handling mechanism okay so if the test case is failed in if there is any exception in try block so catch block will be executed and then this test case will get failed so similarly second test case and third test case there are three test cases related to alert dialogs test and you can see that in every test case uh, we need to create a test right in extent report so extent dot create test of you need to pass test case id and de description okay and then assign category here we are assigning categories uh, with the class name so in this class I have used class name as category so all the test cases will be under this class name similarly in second class tabs test so all the test cases will be in tabs test category so in this way you can create categories and filter those test cases based on your category in extent report okay so uh, this is how you can create page actions class and uh, test execution class so alert dialogs actions class alert dialogs test execution class so using this alert dialogs actions object you can call the locators and methods implemented in alert dialogs actions class okay here uh, if you observe that is skip equal to false right is skip equal to skip test so first before executing the test case uh, it will check whether the test case is uh, whether the test case run mode is yes or no or empty if the run mode is s only this test case will be executed or else this test case will be skipped okay and then if you observe the if you see uh, if the actual and expected validation messages are equal set result in excel as pass else else it will throw the exception and set result in excel as fail and throw the exception to fail the test case okay this is all about framework structure and the respective classes okay now let's see other uh, folders so screenshots so here uh, it will capture all the screenshots when the test case is failed 
and place those screenshots in this screenshots folder so we have configured that path to uh, capture the screenshots and place them into screenshots folder and reports folder so extend report will be created in this reports folder so as we have uh, configured this path in uh, setup right so this is the path dot slash means dot slash means root path of project and then reports under reports folder this is the file name extend report underscore append the current timestamp so it would be better to append the current timestamp because uh, if you don't append the current timestamp uh, if you place the file name as extend report dot html uh, when you run the scripts okay so next time it will overwrite the report you cannot find the old reports so that's why uh, better to append the current timestamp so that uh, for every execution new file will be created with the current timestamp okay so this is the extend report file path And the screenshot path is uh, project root directory slash screenshots. So the screenshot will be captured and placed in this screenshots folder. Now logs. So generally you can create logs in each test case. So for that you need to have one log for j.xml file. So in this this is the predefined uh, xml file okay in this file the only thing you need to update is path of log file so under this project root path create one logs folder inside that logs folder create one log file that is mobile.log you can give any name here mobile here i have given mobile okay so in this mobile.log file so logs will be created based on your logs which you added in your test cases so uh, this is the sample log setup.log.info of so this is this is the sample log which i have given if the test case if the actual and expected validation message is same uh, it will log as actual and expected alert messages are equal in this log file else actual and expected alert messages are not equal so similarly you can create any number of logs in each test case okay those logs will be created in this log file so for that you need some uh, dom configurator dot configure so you need to pass the path of log for j dot xml file in setup class okay so this is the log for j related uh, statements right okay so this is how you can configure log for j.xml and other properties and extend reports okay so these are the different folders which you can see the reports screenshots log files okay now after completing all these packages information now let's discuss about testng.xml file so generally we will place all the test execution class names here and execute this testng.xml file only testng.xml uh, run as testng suit now all the test cases will be executed one by one so first all the test cases from alert to dialog test will be executed and then all the test cases from tabs test class will be executed and finally report will be generated in specified location now let's run the suit with this uh, testng.xml file and see the extent report how the report got generated okay so now before running the script let's uh, start the IBM server I 
Abium server is started. Now let's run the testng.xml as testng suit. Now here alert dialogs test has three test cases and tabs test class has two test cases, right? So there are five test cases. You can see the categories as well in the extent report and filter those test cases based on your category name. App is opened and then performing actions you can see. Alert dialogs. Alert dialogs execution is completed. After completing alert dialogs class, we are resetting the app. Means we are relaunching the app. Now it is scrolling down to tabs. Scrollable. Now it is it will stall until visibility of tab 20 and then verify the content displayed in tab 20. So this is the first test case in tabs uh, test class and second test case is content by id. It will perform tab action on tab 3 and then verify the content. Now execution is completed successfully. Now you can see the report one failure. Okay, one failure and four test cases passed. Okay. So actual and expected alert messages are not equal. Here I am intentionally failing the first test case. Okay, to fail the test case. Okay, let's see the report. So let's refresh the project. Sorry, refresh the framework project. Now report is generated with current timestamp, right? So what is the current timestamp now? Five. This this is the latest report 1700. Now open this report in uh, browser. You can see the report. Four test cases passed. Four test passed. One test failed. So first test case is failed. So you can see the logs as well. Okay. And screenshot of failure. So this is the screenshot where test case is failed. So this alert message is not matched with the expected alert message. So other four test cases are passed. Okay. Now you can see here categories as well. So alert dialogs test is the class name that is category name. Tabs test is the category name. You can filter the test cases based on this category names. So if you tap on alert dialogs test. So all the test cases belonging to alert dialogs test will be displayed here. If you select tabs test, so you can filter the tabs test related test cases. Okay. So here all the test cases related to tabs test will be displayed. Okay. Similarly, you can see here. Okay. These are the two test cases. You can see the logs as well. Okay. So in this way, you can design the framework in your projects. Okay. I will share the examples which we have seen in previous lectures and also this complete framework. Okay. Please go through this framework at your convenient time and let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Thank you.